Well, hello guys, and welcome to my first LEGO The Ninjago Movie Set Review. And today we are going to be reviewing Spinjitzu Training. This is set 70606. On the front there you can see it includes Kai and Zane, and then we've got all of the things inside, Lloyd in the top there. And then on the back we've got everything you can do with this set. So now let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the mini. So we'll start off with Kai here. As you can see, this is actually a lot better than I was expecting it to be. I uh, really do like the torso there, and then obviously it's got the gunmetal skybound armor. Uh, not a big fan of the legs, kind of wish they were red plastic with kind of these red bits printed on. But it's not too big of a problem. The same with the mask, kind of wish that like Zane, he was kind of all red, just like Zane is all white. But he's not too bad of a minifigure, so you can see all of the front detailing. And then these new masks are two pieces, and what's really useful about this is that this back part allows me to just spin this around, and then there you can see all of his face without taking that off. And then there you can see all of his second face. And then we will obviously take all this off so you can see the back detail in there. And I know that a lot of people kind of want to see what these new ninja look like with the old faces on. So there you can see the old Kai face which obviously isn't included on the new suit there. And that honestly doesn't look too bad there. So as you can see there. So yeah, that is it for Kai, and he does come with two swords in this uh, sword holster, and we see in Gunmetal Break. Now, last minifigure here, we have got Zane, and the uh, there you can see the torso and leg detailing, and he does have some detail on the foot. The leg detailing is really, really nice. I'm not a big fan of the torso, but it is, again, much better in person. And there you can see his eyes through the mask, and he does, of course, come with this black bow and then the black quiver. And then... You can see the bottom mask piece which spins around to show his head there and that is obviously where this back bit connects and I kind of didn't show you the back of Kai's mask there so there's that. And then taking that off and turning this to the back and you can see the quiver and then his second face which is pretty creepy but taking this off and you can see all of his back detailing and just like with Kai I will show you what he looks like with his show face. And I'm going to be using the titanium version there, so there you can see with the top mask on. And then putting this on, you can see what he looks like there. And again, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, that is it for Zane. Now we can move on to the actual set itself. So as for the main set itself here, we do get all of these little kind of training dummies. So this first piece here is this little helmet, which is kind of the helmet of shadows on this black head. And then that is on this little beast, which... On a flat surface it does spin around quite a lot so you can kind of uh, enact it and punching it and it gets punched around so kind of like a punching bag. So that's a pretty cool design and as you can see there isn't on the bottom is how they made that and that is how it all spins around. Then we've just got this sheath with two swords in and that is a brand new piece there which is really really nice so as you can see that just connects into a pin there. And a pretty simple build, but it is just a nice place to store swords, so if Kai wants to get any more out, which I'm not sure why he wants to, but... Or if Zane wants them. And then this last bit, before we get onto the main kind of corner of the dojo, is this little kind of training dummy as well, where they can just kind of spin around and punch it around. It's one of those things which is supposed to spin, but you just kind of have to spin it manually. The actual pegs don't spin themselves. But there is kind of a look from the top. And as you can see, two of each uh, level have got these cones added to them. And then as for the last build here, here we've got this main kind of corner of the dojo and there is this kind of little scroll here, which has been built up really nicely. You get two weapons which can be attached to the side there, and they are pretty cool. Then we've got this trans red minifigure head up the top there, which uh, I'm guessing is kind of like a light. And then you, there you can see how that attaches there. And on the back you can see, not very camera friendly, but you can kind of see how they made these uh, tan windows, which is a really, really nice recolor, I'm pretty sure. And then this is all in Ninjago language, and then we've got the symbol of destiny in the middle. And I'm not sure what the translations are, so, but there you can see the symbols, so you can kind of work it out for yourself if you want to. And then obviously the two clips on the side here and here. And then if you wanted to get four of these sets, I guess you could kind of make a full square room with them and just have all these little bits on the inside with the four corners kind of evenly spread out. But it is a pretty cool little build and then you can stand 
one of the ninja in there like so. But yeah, that is basically it for the Spinjitzu training. Now we can get onto the ratings. Before, quickly before we get onto the ratings, the instructions here, as you can see on the front, is the same as the front of the box there with Lloyd and then the images. And we get straight in with the build. And as for the advertisements, we've got this advertisement for Legoland and Lego Worlds, and then there you can see we've got a code to unlock the Tuk Tuk from the City Chase in game. Then we've got the Ninjago Movie video game, the Ninjago Movie website, and then a list of all the sets. And I will only be getting the Spinjitzu. Will only be reviewing the Spinjitzu training, uh, the City Chase and Master Falls, and then obviously the big Ninjago City when it comes out. But those are the only sets that I am getting. So you can expect reviews of these two sets very soon. But all of the others I will not be getting. And then you can see this nice poster here, and then the build. So overall on to the ratings for this set, this is a really really nice little set and a really nice way to get Kai and Zane. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the minifigures but the build is definitely really really nice and it is again a nice small set which makes it easy to get two ninja very quickly and then obviously you can get three by just getting Lloyd in the collectible minifigure series. But the build is pretty nice and you get some nice little training dummies with these things. And then uh, two really nice minifigures uh, for Zane and uh, Kai, which I'm sure a lot of Kai and Zane fans will be wanting this set simply because of how cheap it is and how easy it is to get the two figures. And obviously in their movie suits. And then the little dojo is a pretty cool build as well. So overall I'm going to give this set a 9. And that is about it for this review, so please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.